Uh, Spencer Ackerman with Danger Room uh, here at AUSA, and uh, this thing strapped to my head is the next generation of night vision. Uh, it's the iAware series manufactured by ITT. Let's give it a shot for what this thing can do. So right now when you put this display up against uh, your eye, you don't just get the standard green night vision that everyone's used to from TV. Uh, you also get this kind of ghostly white effect, and that's body heat. Uh, that's imagery that's projected onto the night vision that everyone's familiar with that shows uh, where uh, someone's, you know, giving off a little bit of heat or where uh, if you were to look at a road, perhaps some dirt has been turned over and that's useful for finding where perhaps uh, homemade bombs have been placed into a road. Um, previous generations of night vision couldn't do that. You either had your night vision gear on and you had your thermal imager, but you couldn't do both simultaneously. Uh, and this new night vision gear, uh, you can do both. You can also do some other stuff. There's a display function to bring imagery from up above on a drone, some video or a camera imagery, uh, perhaps on an aerostat or a blimp, uh, down into the goggles. So you can see in exactly the same uh, frame of sight uh, on the goggle, not just what you're looking at straight ahead, but also this imagery that'd be brought down from above. The thermal imagery and the video imagery can't work at once, but there are functions that you can manipulate uh, to get one or the other in. And, si and also, uh, if you go over um, a data connection like, uh, like the Army's jitters network uh, through a rifleman radio, you plug this thing into that, uh, Wi-Fi isn't quite available for it yet, but if you plug it into that, you can also uh, send images that you're seeing uh, here uh, out to other elements in a, in a unit. Um, so that's uh, really a, a couple different innovations uh, that show where night vision is going.